afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 914th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni, and that would be me. Traders, these videos are geared for you to know or at least gauge what to do in the markets for the next day going forward. They're short term videos. This video is being filmed on Monday night for Trading Tuesday, September 11, 2012. And traders, with that in mind, please, please, let's all just bow our heads for a moment of silence. You know, so many people were lost on 9-11. I happened to be, I lived in New York, my business was in the trade centers, everybody I knew worked there. I personally took a great, great loss. I lost a lot of friends. I lost whatever money I had in the bank. I lost two out of three homes. That was a day that a turn of events began which changed my entire life. It meant a lot to me and I would just like to bow my head for a moment of silence for the people that we lost in 9-11. Well, thank you for sharing that moment with me. Okay, traders, so here we go. Let's just say that we know futures trading is extremely risky, can cause substantial financial loss. If you do not understand the risks behind trading, if you do not have risk capital to lose, if you do not recognize a stop is your best friend and you should always place your stops first, then you should not be trading futures. You should get up and run now. For you traders that understand the risks, let's go, let's move forward. Let's just keep on plowing ahead. Traders, what's on the board? Well, a red omni, and yuck, you know, here's how we clap for red omnis. <laughs> we hate to clap for red omnis, but red omni on the board for S&P, NASDAQ, the Russell, Soybeans look like they want to come off a little bit, and corn looks like it wants to come off a little bit. So, red omni in the indices and some of the grains. What is on the board? Traders for trading on Tuesday, 9-11-2012, rollover has begun. You are now rolling out of September, no longer in you, no longer in September. No more ESU-12. You will be trading the ESZ12. We have rolled up into December in indices, currencies, interest rate futures. Everything that was September is now December. Please don't trade those Septembers any longer. So we're rolling out of SEP into DEES in our US indices, bonds and currencies. Bonds already rolled. The corn is looking top heavy and I have a chart to show you why. The E-mini S&P and NASDAQ need a slight pullback, Red Omni, for at least the first half of trading on Tuesday, probably for the whole day, but we'll take it one hour at a time. And then soybeans look like they want to go lower today, traders. So we're going to look at some charts right now. Those charts should depict corn looking top heavy, ES, NASDAQ, Russell looking like they need a pullback and soybeans looking like they're going to come off on Tuesday. Traders, if you like the analysis I'm going to show you in this video, I would like for you to come join me for a four-day seminar live here in Las Vegas. It is being held October 26th through 29th. That's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. If you'd like to study with me in Las Vegas, give me a call, 702-629-4755. Or go to my site, livewithoscar.com, and click the Omnicamp banner, fill out your applications, and I'll personally call you. All right, traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, Oscar Carboni is holding another Omnicamp live in Las Vegas. Omnicamp is an intensive four-day course taught by the Wall Street whiz Oscar Carboni himself. Oscar has been analyzing markets and trading commodities on and off the New York trading pits for over 30 years. Trading for a living is a very difficult business. Oscar will simplify the process so that you can easily understand and analyze the markets. Classes are limited. For more information, call 702-629-4755. Our phones are staffed 24-7. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. Trading futures is not suitable for all accounts. Okay, traders, the first chart you are looking at this evening is the E-mini S&P. Please note we are now using Z December and no longer September. 
Daily bought chart, very nice parallel channel. We've been in for quite some time. We put our highs in two days ago. But on Monday, we backed off pretty strong, and it looks like we need another pullback day for Tuesday. Maybe get down to this line, somewhere near the 1400 mark, and then the buyers should come right back in. At worst, you might break down to the, four, to the 1380, 1378 mark, but you know what, traders? That's not a lot of damage if that happened. That's a nice little pullback. Maybe a two-day pullback and right back up again. So we are expecting on Tuesday a little bit of a pullback, and then we will see what happens from there. We are not turning overly bearish, but we will be selling a rally late Monday night into Tuesday morning in the E-mini S&P. Traders, look at the Russell. Exactly the same thing. Russell, this is the previous high, then the one just before this one that we put in two days ago. The Russell on, Tuesday, on Monday turned around and came back down, sort of fell that that line hit the top of this parallel channel right here. You know what I mean? So it looks like a little pullback. Maybe you'll get down to here somewhere, somewhere around 810. Not a big deal. A little bit of a pullback before we advance forward. So Tuesday, we're looking for the downside in the Russell NASDAQ S&P. Here is your tranny. Interesting. If you recall, I showed you this wonderful setup, and if right here, if we come down and it looks like a perfect setup for an announcement, we did get the announcement out of Europe. We went right back up. This chart of the transportation average has been wonderful, but this happens to be the 200 bar moving average. This is going to be a resistance level first thing tomorrow when the tranny opens. If we get above the 200, wonderful. But right now, the S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, and Dow are showing us we are not getting above that 200. We are going to hit it and drop back down. So we are looking for some downside on Tuesday in your U.S. indices. And then there's this wonderful corn chart, traders. Look at the corn, it's had quite the rally, big, big, big rally up, but now it's starting to look like a rounded top to me. Keeps hitting my rounded top tool and coming back down, hitting it, coming back down. But now, instead of blasting through, we've actually rounded and are continuing on that path. If this is right, what happens next is it starts to do this, and down you go. So rounded top, looks like the possibility of corn topping out is getting stronger by the day, and we will be looking to sell the corn on Tuesday. So traders, you've seen the charts, and there's my technical argument for why we expect the indices lower, corn topping out very possibly, and the soybeans look like they want to back off a little. I didn't show you the soybean chart, but if you pull a daily on the soybeans, you'll see it looks like you want to get a little bit of a pullback there in the beans. So take a look at beans and corn for the pullback. Watch S&P, NASDAQ, Russell for the pullback, and then we'll see what wants to go on here on Wednesday. Traders, remember, keep your emotions out of trading, and if you would like to come to that Omnicamp, Call me at 702-629-4755 for an instant qualification on the phone. You either qualify or you don't. I'll let you know. I'll see you then. Remember to keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stop are out for the downside of the S&P and Russell on Tuesday. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.